So there was an announcement. An, an announcement from Peter Pa. Uh, mm. Makes my insides just shrivel just even imitating that. Uh, my dick disappeared. <laughs> it went inside out. Yeah. Uh, Revel Studios is a new sort of MCN offshoot of Polaris, which is all under Maker Studios, which is all owned by Disney. <laughs> So, I can't do this. So, I can't. I can't what? take this fucking seriously. What? MCN offshoot. It's a fucking vanity project where him and his boys are gonna hang out and blow each other. <laughs> well, hold on. Wait a second. That's, I don't think that's what this is at all. This is oh. a new. It's a new MCN. Okay. And it has people like before. I burn or you burn my bridges with the most powerful YouTubers like Cinnamon Toast Ken and Cutie Cutie Pie Marja and um, Markiplier and Dodger and Quebble Pop and Emma Blackery and. Jelly and PewDiePie, uh, they're gonna have a smaller, more focused sort of MCM, and they they probably won't blow each other, Ian. Okay, fine. Maybe they won't, and maybe <laughs> I I shouldn't talk quite so. Yeah, on my channel, yes, quite, maybe. Maybe I shouldn't talk quite so brusquely uh, uh, when I'm when I'm obviously in a mood. I, it's just it's it was the text. Where is it? Um, For the press release. See. Yes, the press release. Uh, where it's basically talking about how this is something uh, new and fresh. And okay, it's, it's, it's not. This is uh, PewDiePie is going to be running this. Um, the idea of Revel Mode was built from my own experience and will aim to bring together an Avengers-like talent squad to work and grow a business together, he said in a press release. From my perspective, Revel Mode is a shift in how talent can approach a digital company and work together for a common good. My problem is that small little word. How is this a shift? What is this? How is this different? How is what's what's going on here that's different? Because it's it, huh? it's the talent running an MCN, except that if PewDiePie is running it, he's a manager, so yes, he's still managing, and he's it. picking people just like people who run MCNs pick things. Mm -hmm. It's all just smoke and weird mirrors and funny words. Uh, he continues. Together, we will focus on creating from one-off videos, which they do already, to original series which they do already, to gamey games. I have no idea what that term is. That's a game is. that smells really bad. Okay. <laughs> very, very nice, Ian. To animations, music, clothes, merchandising, charity drives, which you don't need an MCN to do. Nope. And more. Really anything that's awesome in the eyes of the fans. We have no idea. We're just going to do this, and uh, you're, you're uh, going to tell us what to do. Uh, well, I'm going to try to break this down a little more than Ian is. What I think what's happening is this. I think... I'm sorry. I... <laughs> I'm so sorry. You, know, you realize that now no one likes me on YouTube. No, no one likes me, <laughs> and that's fine. But, but I but I allow if I, I have to allow the content to be out there on my channel. Anyway, so what's happening is this. These are all big YouTubers. PewDiePie has over 30 million. Uh, Markiplier has like over 11 million. He's supposed to be I, very nice. I'm just, Yeah, sure. Dodger has a ton probably. I don't know these people. Um, They don't need the MCNs anymore. Right. In the beginning, the MCNs did help. Uh, four or five years ago. So this is what Polaris used to be. Polaris originally was the game station back in about 2012. When back in 2012, not everyone could easily be partnered on their own. It was still all oh, I got to submit to be partnered and need at least 25,000 subscribers. The last change in three and a half, four years. I, I, I was rejected from a partnership originally when I first uh, tried to get it way back. So it was, to be on a network back then was a big deal. Now I, I could create a network if I wanted to. Like anyone can just do it. You know, have the means to do it. So when it started out, Game Station, it was a concentrated group. Guys like Austin, Peanut Butter Gamer, guys like Jontron, guys like Angry Joe. They were handpicked and put on when it was really an exclusive club, and then they were pushed. They were pushed, and, and you know there was marketing dollars spent, and so it's easier to get seen and noticed, and easier to build up. Now it's so saturated with so many more people making videos, so many more MCNs, that it doesn't really mean anything anymore to be on even like a Polaris because they accept... It used to be like Polaris, their goal was to only accept, you know, a certain uh, criteria person. It had to be handpicking. So it's just a label of a it, click. It used to be curated, and now this is like what it originally was, but in a much smaller degree. And these are all super YouTubers okay. that don't need an MCM. So I think they still want to get the benefits of the MCM and maybe act on their own because all these people in this heartbeat can tell Polaris when their contract runs out to go F themselves we can go to another MCN and, and dictate our own terms we can say we want a 99% ad split we can, we give you 1% because we can't well in a more you calm know. note I mean at the, at, the, <laughs> at the end it does it does state something about how uh, in an interview in 2014 he had stated that he would maybe perhaps part ways with um, 
with with Maker, and that this seems to be a a, 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 a a middle a middle ground. But if that's true, I mean, what you said is still a very real thing. They don't really need it, so no. they're giving him. It, it's like when a record label gives someone a sub label. You're giving them a little playground, but at at some point they they, they can have their own big playground. Yeah. They don't they don't need the little playground anymore. This is this is Polaris slash Maker Studio saying we really have to kowtow to whatever he says because he has this band of. Su- the super group together of if they, all these guys leave, we're, we're screwed, you know. And so, um, yeah, they're the, they're the Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young of YouTube, basically. <laughs> Whenever I think of super group, I just think of high, <laughs> highly posturing guitar playing and basses. Sure. Yeah. Um, so they can dictate their own terms and do whatever they want and still kick back to Disney slash Maker Studios in some degree. But if they really wanted to at any point, these guys can walk and make their own super network and start from the ground up, and they'd be fine. So why yeah. do you think that... I, I mean, it, and I do believe that's the case. It's a power why? play. It's absolutely a power play. Okay, so it, it's simply to hold, basically, Maker... Not necessarily hostage, but to get more... Squeeze more oh, this out is of all. Them. This is leverage. Okay. This is like a, okay. this is like a union of sorts. All it's right. like a, this is what you... The closest thing you see to a YouTube union, because if they, if they don't do it... If they don't keep PewDiePie happy, you're like, all right, fine. My contract runs out. I'm going to start my own network anyway. I can do it. I have, I have millions of dollars, and I'm bringing everyone with me. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry, Pat. What I meant to say was that they're all going to get together and hug each other. Don't kill me. They're just going to have so, hugs. So we've already pissed off the NFL and some of the biggest YouTubers in one video. 